Welcome back, awesome action toy and subscribers. I'm reviewing today a brand new Acid Rain uh, by Toys Alliance. This is the uh, the Wildebeest, the Field Wildebeest FAV uh, A03 Field Wildebeest WB3F. We have artwork on the front, which is a little confusing because you've got two of the uh, flak bikes sort of in the background, but the Wildebeest is the bike in the front. This comes with the pilot and it's interchangeable from the bike to the medic spike uh, so I am quite looking forward to this field cavalry and combat medic okay let's open this up and have a look first of all look in the back it shows you the contents and that you can change from the field cavalry to the combat medic it tells you uh, 118 scale military infantry unit fully weathering detailed Highly complete action collectibles, interchangeable weapons and accessories, one action figure included. And it tells you it includes the bike times one, field cavalry times one, field cavalry gear times one, combat medic gear times one, military bag times three, handgun times one. Let's open this up and let's have a look. Let's see where's the tape on this, it's over here. But the tape's not going to be so easy today. Huh. Okay. Go for the bag instead. Okay, so the bag is off. It's a nice looking box, an unusual shape, this sort of long one here. Let's see how it's packed inside. Let's get this tab open. Okay, so it's a plastic tray pullout. Nothing else in there. And we have this rather nice. Is it one side or is it a booklet? It looks like it could be more than one side. So the front is the artwork we just saw. The back sh shows you what's in there, how to change over from the combat medic to the field cavalry. Um, you just see that's more than one piece of paper. So it seems like it could be slightly more, maybe. Let's have a look. No, it, should, it is just the one sheet. Shows you the contents again, caution of under 16 years of old, 16 years of age, etc. It does look good. Okay, so I shall be using this in a second. So if we look inside, we can see very nicely packaging the bike, the figure, and then we can change over to the combat medic stuff there. Is this taped on? Is it just a slide? Just a slide on. Okay. that off okay so the bike we've seen already I've already done a review of the uh, Bucks team one and this is identical the coloring is different we can have a quick comparison there the logos are different compared to the Bucks team you put the uh, kickstand down on the bag the coloring is different on the bike slightly lighter on this one a uh, bit more metallic on the chain on this one as well. More goldish as opposed to the uh, darker colour on the Bucks team. But it's the same thing. Uh, it does look good. It does look very nice indeed. I do like that. Uh, it's probably the best 118 scale motorbike you can get at the moment. Particularly for action figures. Uh, the next up is the uh, Field Cavalry. Now we've seen this before. This is the same figure as the flat bike. Um, I believe as the flak bike um, pilot, we'll have a comparison now. Let's have a quick look. It's the same. The head part is the helmet is different. This the uh, pilot has goggles. There's no goggles on this guy's helmet, and the back is slightly different too. Also, he has more pouches and stuff on his belt section, which are not on this one as well. Uh, his holster is on the opposite leg, so these parts are swapped around as well. Maybe this guy's a left handy, and he's got a strap on the arm which is not on the other side. So there are some differences. I would imagine that the articulation is the same. Let me just bend his arm and have a look. Yeah, he's still got this absolutely phenomenal elbow bend for a single elbow joint. Now, it is worth notice, noting that it's not quite as tight on his left arm 
where he's got that um that that uh, arm band which can be moved which is nice so if I move that up slightly let's have a look now oops I just popped his arm out okay now he gets that awesome range of motion there as well so very very nice figure indeed uh, and it's nice that it's actually got differences to the uh, black bike pilot even though only just swapping things around from left to right and colouring it does make it feel like you've got a brand new figure not just a repeat even though it's uh, basically the same figure just a few minor differences on that he is a great figure uh, we have here what's this so here we have these are the shared parts so he has his pistol and he has something else oh something for his back two things for his back and what's the number nine and the bag for the front of the bike so let's get this out here so his pistol is is it the same yeah it's the same as the black bike pilot's pistol which is a nice looking pistol with a drilled barrel as well I'll just go in his holster nice and easy but it appears because they put it on the other way his pistol should go back to front yeah so he's gonna have like a far more of a John Wayne not the John Wayne of a um the cowboy's name who had his pistols on back to front so his guns in back to front now I could change the legs around I guess for that um, it seems a bit weird at the moment okay uh, this just swaps around on the front of the bike so you can change that around this part is just for his back it will clip on you see there are certain holes in his backpack this will match up to those ones like that and then this one will go in the other corner hole like thus there we go pretty cool pretty easy and then that can just change around on the front of the bike so if I make him into a combat medic I just want to get this little clip off the bag on the both sides once that's off I will change his bag around So that easy is going to be to clip in, a bit more difficult to clip in, I think, than to take off. Now these are rubber sort of a clips, so they're quite not that difficult actually. But the only thing I'll say is a downside is that in time they will deteriorate if you have them in the sunlight and UV. So do be careful how you display your toys. You may find after a couple of years it's like oh, it's not as good as it was, or it's crumbling, which is a very sad thing. If you're a plastic lover, plastic toy lover. Okay, so that has changed. And then he has his combat medic gear. So let's have a look here. So he has here. So basically his blue parts change. His vest will change. His backpack will change. His helmet will change. His belt, his leg fix, so basically everything changes. So, belt changes, the uh, vest with holes changes, his helmet changes, his arm band changes, his backpack and the little pocket on the back change too. So he'll become a different figure. Now, I will quickly give this a go now, see how quick I can do this. I'm not sure how quick it's going to be to take his thing off here though. Um, Vest should be just a quick clip here. Okay, take that off. Let's take his head off. Make it slightly easier. One side, one side. Okay, that should go over there quite easily. Get that off. Arm out. Okay, so then this one should be just the opposite way in. It's interesting to note the white one is far more stiff than this one. That's probably due to the paint, I would imagine. So it might be a bit more difficult putting it on. No, that's not too bad. Let's see how easy it is to clip 
this in. Normally this is the hard part, clicking the vest into place once you've got it on the figure. Because some of the clips can be a bit tight. Yeah, that's not going to be an easy clip on. I'll try this for a couple more seconds. If I can't do it now, I'll leave it. Why you guys are getting bored watching me trying to clip on this? Oh, so close! This vest. Okay, I'll leave it off for now. Okay, so this will go the same place as the other bag onto his shoulder. I hope. Okay. A small one to go onto the top corner. So that's there. Uh, his head will change over to the medic helmet, which is yeah, same helmet, just different paint job. But I head back on. Oops, sorry, that part fell out. So he's getting there slowly. In. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to change the arm part. It might be a case of just I have to take his elbow out, maybe. Okay, take that his elbow joint out. That will come off quite nicely. Then this one can come on quite easily afterwards. Okay. The nice thing about the new ones is they're quite easy to disassemble and reassemble okay now let's put his arm back into place okay uh for the waist part you can just take him apart and change that one over actually he came with the white one already to keep the white one on makes more sense if he's going to be a combat medic but no they say blue on here but his belt also has a clip as well, which I've just realised, which means I have to take him apart, but never mind. I think it's easier to take him apart and pop that on. Okay, and then I've got the leg ones to do. Um, do I pop these out? Probably have to. There we go. Let's make it easier. And I can pop these over the top. This one up. Okay, I am going to change the holster over to his right leg because I think the way the pistol sits makes more sense if it's not going to be that way or that way. It can sit both ways. On the flak bike pilot, it's this way, which is really for his uh, right leg. And that's the way I'm gonna choose to keep it. And that is right leg, this one, yeah. And this will be on his left leg. Oh, did I do that right or wrong? I just did that wrong. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Okay, so that's his right leg. At least I hope it's his right leg. Let's have a look how that fits and get an idea. No, did I put it on the wrong legs again? Oh, I did it the right way. Just got to get the fit on now. Take his gun out first. Maybe it's this holster's getting in the way a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's put that gun in there. Oh, I have not put his leg on properly. Okay, this one will take off again. Put this one on. Let's around. And the 
of the way might be easier, maybe. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's done. He's into his combat medic part. Just got to do his vest again. Get his gun. His gun's in the ready, sorry. Uh, I have one more go at doing his vest up again. Okay, that looks like it might go. Oh, success. Happy days. Okay, now let's put his backpack back on. So even though you're only getting one figure with this set, it feels like you're getting two because you can swap around. If you buy two of these, obviously, or even more, you can just do part swapping and get a whole variety of different looks. And you've got, if you're into customizing and painting, then you can paint and change and get a whole more, a whole lot more different looks and aesthetics again. Okay, so he's now in his combat medic loadout and his bag pops out uh, I can see why because his vest isn't quite lined up with a hole in his back okay that should work now there's a hole underneath the vest as well if you line it up properly the vest will go in the um, backpack will go through the vest into that hole as well here he is in his medic um, loadout he does look the part he looks pretty damn cool this is a really, really good action figure, and as you, if you saw my uh, review of the his counterpart, the flak bike pilot, you know how much I like it, and how insane that arm bend is for a single elbow joint. Now that is just ridiculous, getting that much bend on a single elbow joint. He does it really good, and he'll be easy to pose as well. Um, this is another great set by Oritoy. Really, really nice. The bike looks good. It's how easy it is for the pose this guy on a bike. I'd imagine it's be a bit more difficult, perhaps, uh, to pose the guys on the bikes. Let's see. So let's go up. So I've, I did this with a uh, Zombie Labs figure previously. Let me try now with a Acid Rain. Yeah, it definitely made definitely made the acid rain out. It was actually really quite easy to do. Just a bit of a guesswork, and I was almost 100% correct straight away. So that's mm. going to be really easy to um. Sorry, the camera's moved. Really easy to get him onto the bike and to hold the bar handlebars. Just get his feet down slightly. Yeah, that's easy to do. This is another really, really good set. And with the possibilities for part swapping of the parts they put inside, it gives you so much more value for money and for, I guess, army building perhaps. You can get a whole medic corps going on and so on. Um, got CM, just notes on the vest, the combat, med combat medic. CM here. Uh, you do have so many possibilities for what you can do with this stuff. It does look really nice. Um, this bag can come off as well, by the way, in case you're wanting, as can the side bags on the bike as well. This is very well, very nicely thought out, very nicely done. And it, you should be able to take the handlebars off the front as well, as you can with the original bike. This is another great set by Toys and Lance. They're really doing some good stuff here. Even if you already own the Bucks version, it's worth getting this to get another one of these guys plus all the different parts so you can interchange the look and customize as you see fit or just go for the bog standard field cavalry uh, loadout or the combat medic loadout which I've just put together here and I really really like okay before I sign out let's have a look at how well he can hold his pistol he should hold it really well because they've got these nice hands the pistol is quite tight in the holster which is good it means not like to lose the pistol in a in a hurry, got his leg popped out again. Yeah, a bit more difficult to get in than to take out, particularly if I've got this 
Oh man, that was too high before. Now hopefully this time it'll pop in a bit nicer. I don't want to keep having to hot water every time I change over the loadout. Okay, now that seems to be in quite tight. Okay, stand up nicely for me. Oh, have it. Okay, pop that body's back once again. And let's see how he holds the pistol. So let's get the pistol here. I'll put his right hand since I made him right handed. And he has got a nice pistol finger or finger as well. You may be able to see there. Oops, sorry. His backpack fell off again. There's a little clip on the actual trigger which can get his finger in. And then you hold it really, really nicely. Yeah, like that. That looks really, really good. I joined the court to save lives, man, not to take them. Okay. He does hold that particularly well. Very, very straight. But some things will hold a gun like that or like that. You know, he holds it perfectly straight. So it's really, really nice for some poses. Very, very good. Whether it has the field cavalry loadout or it has your combat medic loadout. Very, very nice. I've got another, I think five, coming eventually. Uh, <laughs> so I can't remember how many. I think it's three, maybe five coming. Actually. These are really nice. The bikes are great. The having all this spare kit to change between the two loadouts is fantastic. It's just really well designed, well thought out, definitely worth getting. Uh, this is Awesome Action Toys signing out, saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more Awesome Action Toys videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting, okay? Bye bye.